look at your life is there anything to your life you are born you go to school there's a lot of competition there you have to study for your exams get the marks your parents are worried you cause worry to your parents you are under stress all that is over then you go to college again there's the same strife you fall in love with somebody you're not able to marry her or marry him that thing goes on then again frustration then finally you get a job there you you may be happy or you may not be happy there again competition no promotion stress and strain finally you get married you're happy for 3 months then the problem starts then take them to school again then go to some movies watch television read newspaper magazines eat some food go for picnics is there anything to your life at all is there any meaning to your life any purpose to your life you take every day the same coffee the same breakfast and lunch and dinner maybe slight variation what is there to your life so as far as i am concerned you are merely existing you are not living you exist because you are afraid to die so what is there in your life tell me all of you i like to become the prime minister of india is it possible no all of you like to become the ceo of a company is it possible no all of you like to marry aishwarya rai is it possible no. so many knows no 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 you have to make compromises i just this and that what is there to your life the terrible struggles so all right let us say you make money a lot of money i meet lot of wealthy people who tell me clearly bhagwan we are in deep depression so money has not given them happiness it is too sickening and boring after a point of time they are searching here and there so successful people they are not happy so whether you achieve success or not you are not happy either way you are not happy so what is there to your life so as long as you are there as a person whether you are a failure or a success in life the end result is the same you are not going to be happy because if you are there you are being there is unhappiness not that you are unhappy no you equal to unhappiness that is your condition so how long can this go on this has been going on for about 2 million years so what is enlightenment it is wiping out the you take an eraser and wipe out we give diksha and wipe you out if you are gone you will still be very functional that memory is there you can do everything you are doing much more efficiently you could do since you are not there what is there is joy is happiness is love then it does not matter whether you are the chairman of a company or the peon in a company there was a big guru in north india he was a peon in the high court so daily evening like this he'll have a satsang in the satsang the judge would be sitting he would be giving his discourse next day in the morning the judge would be in the chair he would be holding the records the judge would be shivering and saying because his guru is standing now so guru said look here i am a peon i will stand you do your duty but the peon was much more happier than the judge who was sitting there so well i can help some people to become ceos and gms and rich and this and that what about the millions who cannot be helped up so whether even if i am i'm going to make him a gm he's still going to be unhappy the peon also is going to be unhappy but i want people to be happy so what should we do we should erase you you have come here to be erased So step by step we will erase you. Once you are gone, it does not matter who you are, what you are. What is there is only joy and happiness. Now, if there is joy and happiness in you, will, would you cause trouble to others? Never. Only an unhappy person would cause trouble to somebody else. If all over the world people are happy, could there be any problem in the external world? There will be no problem at all. so this inner transformation which we call oneness if that happens there will also be a corresponding change in the external world like everybody would be so happy there will be no crime there will be no conflict there will be no police there will be no courts 
maybe at some point there will be no government also because everybody is happy everything is happening smoothly this inner change we are calling oneness the external change we are calling it the golden age